What's the message on the album? Well, the, what's the message to me? That's what I can answer. Because I don't know what the message is to you, to be quite honest. What is the message to me? What is the message that I am taking away from this? The message to me is that uh, I'm relevant. You know, that what I'm doing is relevant. Um, because, number one, because um, in spite of the situation um, where I could not pay him, Robert kept on sending me beats and saying, no, you'll pay me sometime later. So he had that faith in what I was doing, you know. And um, that to me is huge. Um, I have a huge project going and it totally depends on people believing in me, believing that I have something to offer and that I'm worth all the trouble that I bring because I don't come always with solutions that bring problems as well, you know. So uh, that people are able to look past those problems and say, nah, in spite of all of that, he's worth it. That's the message to me, to me personally. And then that it's going from strength to strength. You know, when I uh, sent the tracks back to Robert and he liked it, and it became a type of flagship for what he's doing, then I was like, wow, yeah, look. And then he's letting other people in the industry listen to it. And they're like, hey, we're on board with this. We're down with this or we're up with this if you want. That's the message to me. To me is the reaction from the people. Because if the people, if the people are not going to like what you're doing in, at this initial stage, it's... It's crucial that the people around you like what you're doing. You know, so the message to me is that the people like the album. The people like what I'm saying. And that means everything to me. And if you want to take that on the high level as well, it's, it's a message that God likes me. You know, it's a message that, that Jesus likes me. That his majesty likes me, you know. That Bob Marley likes me. You know, that's the message. And that's as far as I'll go. Because that's the root of it. That's the heart of it. That's the soul of it. And that's what's going to have to happen in the next album. And the next, and the next, and the next. So that's the everlasting message. That's the everlasting gospel for me is, am I relevant? Do I matter? You know? And the answer to that at this moment, seeing the reaction of the people who were involved with the album immediately, is yes. So I would like to spread that message out to everybody else and, and tell them that they matter. You know? And so if they're in doubt as to are they loved? Are they needed? Are they wanted? You know, then I can say, yes, you are loved. You are needed. You are wanted. You are appreciated. You are valued. You know, and then there's all these things and situations that come up which create the songs because we look at the situations which seem separate then we can talk about race, we can talk about color, we can talk about violence, we can talk about war and disease. And through all of that, at the end of the day, it's like, look, no matter what goes down, you are wanted, you are loved, you know, you're worth something. And that's the message. <laughs>